Capital Crimes, Seven Centuries of London Life and Murder, by Max Ducharme is a gripping exploration of London's dark and blood-stained history through the lens of murder. In this meticulously researched and vividly written book, Ducharme delves into the annals of crime and punishment in the British capital, unraveling a tapestry of violence, intrigue, and social change. One of the most striking aspects of Ducharne's work is his ability to immerse readers in the tumultuous and often gruesome history of London. He accomplishes this by blending historical accounts with true crime narratives, creating a seamless narrative that spans centuries. From medieval witch hunts to Victorian serial killers and modern-day criminal investigations, capital crimes, takes the reader on a macabre journey through the heart of London, illuminating how murder has both shaped and reflected the city's evolution. Decharnes' writing style is both engaging and evocative. He employs a rich and descriptive language that vividly paints pictures of the various historical periods he explores. Whether it's the cobblestone streets of medieval London or the gaslit alleyways of the Victorian era, the author's prose transports readers back in time, immersing them in the sights, sounds, and smells of each era. This immersive quality is a testament to Decharnes' storytelling prowess and his ability to make history come alive. Another notable strength of Capital Crimes is its in-depth characterizations of the individuals involved in these infamous crimes. Decharn delves into the lives and motivations of both the perpetrators and the victims, humanizing them in a way that allows readers to connect with their stories on a deeply personal level. Whether it's the tragic fate of a 17th-century poisoner or the chilling exploits of a 19th-century serial killer, the book delves into the psychology of these individuals, shedding light on the social and cultural factors that contributed to their actions. Furthermore, Decharn skillfully weaves together the broader societal and historical context in which these crimes occurred. He highlights how London's transformation over the centuries, from a medieval city plagued by superstition to a modern metropolis governed by science and technology, influenced the nature of crime and punishment. The book underscores the ways in which shifting social norms, economic disparities, and advancements in forensic science all played pivotal roles in shaping the dynamics of crime in London. One of the most compelling themes that emerges from Capital Crimes is the enduring fascination with murder throughout history. Decharn explores how the public's morbid curiosity has fueled the popularity of true crime stories, from sensationalized newspaper reports in the 19th century to today's true crime podcasts and documentaries. He argues that the allure of murder mysteries lies in their ability to provide insight into the human condition, serving as a mirror to society's anxieties and obsessions. In addition to its exploration of historical crimes, capital crimes also touches on the evolving nature of justice and punishment. Decharn paints a nuanced picture of how London's legal system has adapted over the centuries, from brutal public executions to more humane and sophisticated methods of crime detection and prosecution. This evolution reflects not only changes in societal values but also the ongoing struggle to strike a balance between justice and retribution. However, while capital crimes offers a comprehensive and engrossing account of London's history of murder, it occasionally suffers from a lack of a clear overarching narrative. The book is structured as a series of loosely connected vignettes, which can make it feel somewhat disjointed at times. Readers may find themselves yearning for a more cohesive narrative thread to tie these diverse stories together. In conclusion, Max de Charnes, Capital Crimes, Seven Centuries of London Life and Murder, is a captivating exploration of the dark underbelly of London's history. Through his evocative writing style, meticulous research, and deep characterizations, Decharn breathes life into the city's centuries-old tales of murder and mayhem.
While the book could benefit from a more structured narrative, its ability to transport readers to different eras and its keen insights into the enduring allure of true crime make it a must-read for anyone interested in the intersection of history, crime, and human psychology.